everyone, I'm Whitney and I post sewing and crafting tutorials here on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these super cute and easy trick or treat bags. Uh, they can also be used for other things though, like uh, holding library books or maybe games or toys for a road trip and so many other things. And they are unlined. However, I'm going to show you how to do French seams today, which aren't as hard as they look. And because of the French seams, they won't have any exposed seam allowances. So they're going to be completely finished inside and out and look really nice, but they're also really easy. So let's get right into the project. For a bag that finishes about 11 by 13 and a half inches, you need a piece of fabric 13 by 29 inches and two strap pieces 24 inches long. I'll have a video linked below where I go into a little more depth on making straps for bags. Uh, if you want, you can check that out, or you can just use wide ribbon like I did on one of my bags if you want to skip making straps and make this bag go even quicker. For a smaller bag finishing 9 by 11 inches, you need an 11 by 24 inch piece of fabric and 22 inch straps. If you want to put an applique, like an initial or a shape or something like that on the bag, now would be the time to do it. Just fold your piece in half to get the placement marking and then um, just simply applique on whatever you want. And I will also link below to an applique tutorial for you if you want to try that out. So to get started on the French seams, fold the main piece in half right sides facing out. Sew down the two sides with a half inch seam allowance. At this point, it should look like you have sewn it inside out. Trim the seam allowances down to 1 fourth inch. Turn the bag inside out and iron the seams flat. Then sew down the previously sewn sides a half inch from the edges. The French seams are now completed and the raw edges should all be completely encased. Next, fold the top edge over a half inch, then another half inch for a double fold hem. Iron flat, then sew along the folded edge. Now onto the straps. Fold over each long side a half inch and iron then fold in half and iron again. Sew along the ends and the folded side. With the bag right sides out, tuck the strap ends inside the bag about one and a half to two inches. Pen in place, then repeat on the other side with the second strap. Sew a box on each strap end to attach and you are done. I hope you like this quick and easy treat tote. If you want to see other Halloween or fall tutorials that I've done, there will be a link below to a playlist where I've combined all of those tutorials together, so definitely check them out if you haven't seen them all already. Like this video and subscribe for all of my upcoming tutorials, and I will see everyone again soon. Bye!